Hey, this is Contact here. Today I'm going to show you how to install CM9 on your Galaxy Player. So I have CM9 running on my Galaxy Player and I'm going to show you how to install it. So the stuff you'll need is uh, the CM9. Um, so I'm going to put the link in the description for that. In my last video, I said I'm going to put the link in the description for that. Um, actually, I will, actually. Um, but it's going to take me a while because my computer's actually broke down. Um, so, um, so the things you're going to need is the CM9, your Bluetooth patch, because you need Bluetooth running on this, apparently it doesn't work, you need the Bluetooth patch, and you need your G apps, so you can use Google apps, like, uh, my Gmail, I'm just going to go back, um, so I've got, like, a, um, thing on it, and, um, it needs a uh, nav bar because these won't work. Only if you put the install your noisy fox, these will work. And if you install the nav bar, this will work. So I'm just gonna. Oh yes, and the app, the camera doesn't work. But if you don't use the camera and you use your iPhone, like I'm doing today, I'm just gonna uh, remove it from list. Gonna remove this from list. You're gonna. So I'm gonna close all my apps because when I install this app, I didn't install anything. I didn't install the patch. I didn't install, and then I found out later. So what you're gonna do is you're going to power off your device. And in my last video, I told you that um, you need to install root and clock mod. This will still work on your RAM. Um, I'm not responsible for anything that happens to your device. Um, I'm just showing you how to this is specifically made for the galaxy player 5.0 us and international version like this is my international version so it, your device is powered off you're going to use your power button and your volume up so you're going to do that sound tape um at the same time until the samsung shows up then you're going to let go Okay, now your ROM monitor just came up, so if you can focus this, well, I, I don't think you can. Um, you have your boot system, you apply update, um, wipe da um, factory settings, I'm going to show you what to do. So you're going to go on wipe data f factory setting reset. So to use clockwork mod, you need this, the volume marker, you can use this. But when you install CM9, you can't use this. You can use this. So I'm going to use my power button. So um, just try with the power button. So you're going to go wipe data factory setting. I'm not going to do that to mine. Um, once that you have done that, you're going to wipe a uh, cache partition. You can back up, uh, which you should probably do. Um, you're going to wipe cache. And then you're going to wipe down with cache. Um, you're going to go to advanced, go down to advanced, and then you're going to go to wipe delve cache. You're going to do that, then you're going to go back and you're going to install zip from SD card. If you have a, zip, a SD card installed into your Samsung device, then do that. Uh, but I, mine's inside the internal SD card of my device. Um, so you're going to go to CM9 Supermaster 34230912 stable. You need the stable one. Do not, do not um, do the other one. Choose choose the recommended one. You're gonna install it. Then when that installed, you're gonna um, install your Bluetooth patch. Then you're gonna install your nav bar. Then you're gonna install Noisy Fox. Then you can install your G apps. Once that installed that's installed um you're going to just press reboot your device now i think this won't work so you're just going to press your power button like i i'm doing in this so apparently um it will take a long time um if it doesn't it uh, it won't take a long time if it takes a long time don't worry it will take a long time but mine booted up pretty quick um so it shouldn't really take a long time. If yours does, don't worry. 
if it just stays there then I should recommend uh, reflashing your kernel. Um, remember I'm not responsible for anything that happens to your device. If anything happens to your device, uh, do not blame me. I'm just following the instructions on XD developers as well. They aren't responsible for anything you're doing to your own device. You're doing this to your own device. Yes, I've said that a million times. So once that is done, you should get your thing and then you should set everything. Once I've set everything on mine, uh, you're going to do everything and then you can change your wallpaper. Um, you can install eBay and all that uh, fun stuff. And um, you should install the right G apps because I've installed every one and then haven't worked. One of the G apps. Uh, oh, I should. Oh, sorry. I should label out is um, G apps. G apps uh, slash uh, ice cream sandwich. ICS four zero four two nine. That that one actually worked for me. I'm gonna put the link in the description. Following to the XD developers. So this content, uh, like, subscribe, comment. Uh, it will really help me forward. And um, yeah, this content rolling out.